so make sure the center forward you are using has a very good finishing so preferable i would advise you to use go pocha go pochas are very very good center forward so it Hello guys, it's a boy in football. Good, I'm back again with another manager review. So guys, previously we reviewed at uh, Michael Ateta for 3-3 formation. This time around, we are going to be reviewing his 4-2-4 formation. So guys, before we continue, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and stay safe out there. And if you are new to my channel, you're highly welcome. The channel is growing gradually. Thank you guys for the support. So, Ateta offensive and defensive formation is 4-2-4. And um, his, his attacking styles is possession game, build up his short pass, attacking areas is center, positioning is flexible, defensive style is all at defense, containment area is wide, and pressing is aggressive. So, this is his offensive tactics, and this is his defensive um, tactics. So, let me explain to you guys the kind of players you need to play this game. So, you need a center forward with good finishing, decent speed. So, we have Vlahovic, we have Mbappe, we have Haaland in that position, we have Ronaldo, we have other iconic center forward or SS player who can play as a center forward. So, make sure the center forward you are using has a very good finishing. So, preferable, I would advise you to use Go Pocha, go Pochas are very, very good center forward. So it came with uh, a left wing forward and a right wing forward. So whoever you are using there, make sure the person is good with um, dribbling. Or most importantly, the player need to have a good speed because these players, they counter with the ball. They counter a lot, like to move the ball forward. And most importantly, what you need to pay attention is the passing. So your left wing forward and right wing forward must be good with passing and at least a decent stamina to play the full 90 minutes. Pay attention to that. So make sure your left wing forward has a good passing, a good stamina and a good finishing is an added advantage so the same applies to your right wing forward player they need to have good passing good finishing good dribbling and good speed so the formation came with a ss which is not convertible to any other position be it cmf or amf is just ss so make sure the ss you are playing there is good with finishing is good with speed is good that it has a decent speed it has a decent passing a decent on finishing because this SS acts as your second strike and when this your center forward is not there to finish this SS fall in place because sometimes your center forward might come deep or go to the left or the right wing side then this SS will step in for him as your striker so make sure they have good finishing good dribbling good shooting and good stamina most importantly so and they having a good passing for the SS is also good because sometimes they will be the one giving the pass to the center forward so um he came with one defensive midfielder and one central uh, midfielder so make sure the defender uh, the defensive midfielder you are using there is good defensively the defensive awareness the ball winning and aggression should be very very good so in the SS position and we have player like uh, like like Rumi who can play there. We have other Diperu. We have Dibala. We have players um, like Jao Felix who can play in the SS position and other great players who can play in this SS position. In the left wing forward, we have our. Uh, players that can play in this position so we have Sadomane, we have Neymar, we have uh, other great left wing forward like uh, Ryan Gies, who can also play as a right uh, midfield forward or left midfield forward that means so and we have other great right wing forward like Sancho, like uh, Greenwood, um, we have Ziyech in this position, we have other uh, right wing forward so even in this left wing forward we have players like Asufati so and in the central midfield forward we have Gavi we have Pedri but Pedri can play mostly as AMF we have Bruno Fernandez so we have other great uh, central midfielder like Gerard so like Lampard so make sure whoever you are using in this central midfield position is good with passing 
decent speed, good in tight possession, good in dribbling. Speed is not a necessity, but if, if the player has a good speed, then it's a bonus. So that person is very, very important because they will be the one distributing the pass to your left wing, right wing, CSS or center forward. So but I'll make sure the defender you are using, sorry, the defensive defender you are using here is also good defensively, so they can support your defense. So we have our players in this defensive position players like Bo Squared, players like, like Locatelli, play we have other defensive midfielder like Rikard, we have Pelo. So make sure whoever is in there is good defensively is very very important. So the formation came with two center back. So uh, I like using one destroyer and uh, one build up. So I would advise to use one destroyer and one build up. Puyo is a destroyer why Beckenbar is a, a build up so Whoever you are using there, make sure the player has a very good defensive awareness, a very good ball winning, a very good aggression, a very good stamina. You don't want to be subbing your defenders midway or like 70 minutes or 60 minutes. So make sure whoever you are using here can play up to 90 minutes. So we have other great um, destroyer in this game like Port Torres. We have... Uh, we have... Uh, Kulibali, we have uh, Kambe, we have other great uh, center back in the build up position like Delete. Uh, we have other great center back who can play in this position like Varan, so Kimbebe and other Thiago Silva and other good center back. So, but pay attention, make sure they have good defensive awareness, good ball winning, decent aggression is very, very important. and make sure that speed is at least it it upward so the information uh, has full backs so left back and the uh, right back so whoever you are using you make sure the 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 center back has a good uh, speed and a good passing be it low pass or not the pass you need to have good passing and good speed because the speed will enable them to join attack when you're attacking and to recover when the opponent is trying to attack you the passing will help you to distribute the pass to your ref left wing forward to your center midfielder and also make sure they have a good stamina that stamina is very very important because it will it will save you time of instead of substituting them make sure they have good stamina to play at least up to 80 minutes but i would advise to use the center back or center back and the left back or right back that are, that has good stamina to play up to the full minute is very very advisable so make sure your full backs has a very good passing and a very decent speed most full back don't have a great defensive awareness that is true so you can use a uh, um in the right back, we have Juan Bisaka, we have Hakimi, we have James, we have Aspliqueta of Chelsea, and the other great uh, player that can play in the right back. In the center, in the left back, we have um, Davies, we have Hernandez, we have um, other left back like Aloso, like Aquela, that can play in this position. So we have Iwin, and so there are great players, you can use them if you have them. So in the goalkeeping position, make sure you use the goalkeeper with a very good reflexes, a very good reach, a very good caching, and make sure they are good with goalkeeping jump, is very important. So make sure your goalkeeper has this attribute, at least 95 upward. So on the bench, you can fit in the players you want on the bench, but this is how I prefer mine. I put one left wing and one right wing. I put one center back just in case any you know, of the center back are injured or not much fit. I put one central midfielder just in case Inesta runs out of energy. And I'm so sure that my defensive midfielder will never run out of energy. So I put in one SS in place of um, uh, Johan Croft just in case he gets tired. I can put uh, Felix. So then I drop one center forward. So you can put other center forward, like uh, you can put other center forward, like Haaland, who is a super sub, Mbappe. So me, I use that silver ball because of the team strength. I don't, it will overpower the team. So uh, you can use player like Haaland, like Mbappe as your super sub and other, even Vlahovic or uh, Lewandowski as your, as your sub on the bench. So guys, that is it on how to play this formation. I hope this video is useful to you. See you guys in my next video and stay safe out there. Peace out.